Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to start off by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukakodash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone Rule Well. Salutations to the hopeful like brothers out there pushing this truth with all diligence and sincerity, risking your freedoms and your lives to do so. All right, um, you know, uh, I'm the brother Lahab, and this is brother Natsaki. We're just going to go in on focusing uh, on what you need to do in this truth, which is mainly uh, your conduct in this truth. Like, um, are you just a Saturday Israelite, or are you doing this 24/7? Because the rehearsal of these things is going to really it's going to really prove if you're really about this or not. You know, you're not just doing it when someone's uh, around or when. You know, all, all of a sudden the spirit didn't hit you out of nowhere. You, you're trying to find, uh, you know, the same glimmer that you found when you first came into the truth. That first, that that first, uh, that first passionate feeling that you found when you fell in love with the understanding of, of you, how about you, how was shot. You know, that's what we're fighting to have every day. We're fighting to, to keep the spirit of you, how about you, how was shot on us. But it comes through, um, through diligence, man. You know, it comes through doing work. You know, you're not. You're not just expecting something to fall out the sky. The Lord actually hates people like that. People that uh, they expect a, a, a gift to just be given without having to give any work. You know, with this truth, we understand that, okay, it's a gift that we can never pay back. But the Lord expects us to do something. The way he expects us to pay it back is, you know, simply by trying to make more like us. You know, be in the spirit, uh, be role role model characters in, uh, in the society as a... Um, the Israel of the Most High, but and, and teach others as well. Um, I'm gonna get to James five and twenty. Um, well, yeah. So pr pretty much, though, you know. You, you're not just uh, um, as a brother pretty much brought out you're not just supposed to be a hero of the word but a doer okay and look in the scriptures you know it, it, the Lord commands us to do multiple things okay you know we got to read pray fast preach you know feed the sheep of Yahweh Shai. okay we have to have a godly conduct okay you know our whole um, you know our whole walk should be different not only what we talk about, but uh, how we act, you know, our deeds, all right? You know, there's a, um, you know, a lot to it. Another thing, too, is you brothers got to make sacrifices, okay? All right? Yep. You got to make sacrifices in this truth. There's times where you're going to have to lose a little bit of sleep because you need to read, you know, you know, a couple chapters before you go to bed or you maybe do that lesson or watch that video, okay? You may not be able to spend time with... You know your your child, all right, or your, your you know your parents, okay. They they're, you're gonna have to. Um, the scriptures talk about what, you know, uh, refrain from thy appetites. You're gonna have to not go to that you know that bar, that club, that you know, uh, the you know the casino, whatever. You know what I mean? The gym. You're gonna have to cut that out because it may do what? It may bring a hindrance, okay, to your performance in this truth, all right. So they, there's a lot to it, man. Brothers need to examine themselves more, okay? Think about what they're doing. Hey, if you, if you, you, you know, you, you're starting to slip up. You're starting to hear, you know, more rebukes. You're getting into more counsels with brothers. Take heed to that. Really start a hey, changing up your, um, your schedule, okay? And have some goddamn discipline, man. I gotta say it like that. Sorry for you know the rough words, but you gotta have some goddamn discipline, okay? All right. And uh, yeah, we're supposed to be newly fashioned in this truth man which that's a part of it, is is to discipline yourselves because that's the only way you would see any real results or changes your your whatever your um whatever your your advice i'll say you know because it, it could be a you know something to turn into wickedness because that's what a, a vice is it's a coping mechanism of wickedness you know but uh you know even something lawful that you know we we can use plenty of grease to say well that's in the scriptures but how how uh how does that um affect your personal temperance man we still have to be temperate in this thing uh to be solely focused on our mission you know you can't be out of balance 
giving more to this than you do the truth, then it's gonna fuck the whole uh the whole machine up, man. You know? But this is um before I get that uh that James five and twenty, I'm gonna read this uh this John, because this is what we're expected to do. This is uh John verse twenty one. I mean, it's like uh, St. John chapter 21, verse 16. It says, he said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonah, as love as thou me. He said unto him, yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, feed my sheep. Verse 17 says, he said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonah, as love as thou me. Peter was grieved, uh, grieved because he said unto him the third time, love as thou me. And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yeah, I wish I said unto him, feed my sheep. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, when thou was young, thou girdest thyself and walkest whither thou wouldest. But when thou shalt be old, thou shalt stretch forth thy hands, and another shall gird thee and carry thee whither thou wouldest not. This spake he signifying by what death he should glorify the Most High. And when he had spoken this, he said unto him, follow me. All right? You know, our, our whole job is to come out here and do this work and, and, and teach others how they're supposed to do this work, uh, I'll, I'll say, with more peace, man, and, and less grief uh, with, with whatever um, whatever uh, issues or, or trials that we run into in, through the past. You know, we kept the diligence, the faith, uh, and understanding that we, we gained from our elders, as well as the experience, you know, to be able to teach others, man. But the, the number one thing that we're supposed to be teaching is endurance. Is that no matter if you're out there in the world, you get into like some type of jam with these people, you're able to be a peacemaker and as well as uh, one that's this fervent in faith to pray when the Lord, you know, looks like he's about to use uh, the left hand hammer to drop on you, man. You know, that you stay diligent in all things, man. Because that's really our spirit to keep on fighting, to keep on going, you know. When uh when you came out your, your dad's ball sack, man, you you fought to get to the womb, man. You fought to get to that egg. Well, th this is the same thing, man. That you're fighting for that crown of life, you know. Um, the James. This is James chapter five verse twenty. So it's a, uh, it's really like a, a balance of I forget what type of relationship they call it that animals have, but basically, it's like killing two birds with one stone. You know, you you're um. You're trying to convert others to this truth uh, for their benefit as well as it's saving you, man. You know, doing this work is saving our lives. This is James 5 and 20. Let him know that he which converted the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. So the the stronger we go in this, man, you know, the, the more uh, it, ref it reflects on our better attributes instead of, uh, you know, our former sins, man. You know, this is this is giving the Lord another reason to want to forgive us, man. You know, and, and drag us up out of this. But you know, hey, the Lord is not dealing with a sluggard or a slothful man, man. It says that uh, even the whole the whole village will hiss at a, a, a sluggard, man. You know, at, at, at this man, like they they said they'll cast him away as a filthy stone. You know, just imagine the stone covered in shit. You know, don't nobody want to touch that. I don't give a fuck if it was gold with a bunch of diamonds. If it fell in shit, not a whole lot of people about to go through that shit to get this thing, man. Because it, it, it's, it's too defiled. You're not going to want it. You know? Well, that's that's how the Lord would liken somebody that's not trying to do the work, man. Yep. For one year. Hey, then say, say a brother ain't got no kids and no job. But what are you doing? You're just an all-around piece of shit, man. You got to get up off your ass and you got to do something, man. Exactly, because if you're not, idleness teaches wickedness. Roughly paraphrasing, that's in the book of Sirach, man. I got it. You? Oh, you got it? Okay, calm. That's beautiful. Uh, where you at? Sirach 33 and 27. Off in there. Let me see. Um. Um. Go up above to like uh, 20. Start at 24. Okay. Yeah, it started at 24, yeah. It's Rock chapter 33, verse 24. It says, Father, I won, and burdens are for the ass. Talking about the donkey, okay? And the donkey is a, a creature that's used for what? Hard work, hard labor. Okay? Keep going. And bread, correction, and work for a servant. Exactly. All right? You know, it's basically what we're getting compared to an ass right now. You know? 
All right, babe, we're supposed to be out there working, okay? You know, grinding. You know, hey, we're going to get corrected. You know? Hey, you know, what does it say? Uh, bread. Yeah. You, you know, we're going to get our daily bread. Hey, we're going to get we're gonna get corrected in this thing. And we're going to go to work, man. Mm-hmm. All right? Hey, we're, 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 we're uh, hey, we were, we were those uh, men that, um, that were looking for a job, so to speak, right? And the Lord hired us, man. Okay? So we got to do something now. You know, you know, while we're at the job. Mm-hmm. Okay? Look, somebody that didn't do anything isn't going to get paid for their work. All right? The, one, the ones who are going to get paid are the ones who, you know, did X, Y, Z. Yep. All right? You got some? Uh, oh, it's a lot, yeah. No, this is going to be a precept after, after uh, this song, scripture. Uh, it says, if thou set thy servant to labor, thou shalt find rest. Exactly. Keep, keep going. But if thou let him go idle, he shall seek liberty. Exactly. If you're being idle, man, you're going to uh, seek liberty, all right? You're going to sit there and get into all sorts of folly. You're going to start doing what? Chasing women? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you're not chasing women, then you're going to be with the family. If you're not with the family, then you're going to try to do what? Hustle in this world, gain, you know, carnal money. If you're not doing that, you know, you're just going to what? Just be uh, uh, plain lazy. Just sitting at the house being a sloth. Okay? That's what's going to happen if you're not, you know, active. You're going to lose the spirit. That's what's going to start happening. You're going to lose the spirit. Then you're going to start doing what? Making X, Y, Z excuses of why you can't do things. Oh, I don't know. I can't read today because I'm tired because I was at the job. Or, oh, I had to, you know, you know, spend time with the family. I didn't, you know, get time to do a video. Or, you know, um... Um, I had to help out, you know, you know, with my parents, and that's why I couldn't uh, uh, watch this video, you know, or do that video, whatever, you know, or read. You're always gonna have an excuse, man. Then eventually, you're just gonna start, you know, uh, uh, g going back into the world. And the reason why is because you're touching that pitch, man. That uh, Sirach 13 and one, he that touches pitch shall be defiled. Now you're getting defiled, and then you're becoming like the proud man, as it says later in that verse. Because look, when you're around, you know, particular people, you basically uh, pick up their traits, their qualities, so to speak. Okay, their spirit, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, get gets attached unto you, so to speak. All right, you get influenced by them. That's why the scriptures tell you what to be continually with the godly men. You're not supposed to be around the people of, the, of this world like that. Now you have your dealings with them, of course. All right, because we all have our day to day, you know. You know walks and we're you know we're gonna have to deal with the, the people of this world but you don't want to be you know you know intertwined and inter, you know you don't want to intermingle too much with them all right well, yo you got that yeah this is a uh, Sirach 13 and 1 it says he that touches pitch shall be defiled therewith mm -hmm. and he that hath fellowship with a proud man shall be like unto him exactly so if you're too much in this world you're gonna be defiled by it you're gonna be like that proud man which that represents these people man because everybody a, is a proud individual in America, all right? Unless they're in this truth, all right? I don't care if they have a bunch of money or no money. These people are proud here. You, hey, they, they, you even got bums who are proud. But hey, we see it all the time in Chicago. All the damn time. These, these people have t nowhere to go, okay? No money, they haven't showered in fucking a month And then they're looking down at you They haven't ate all day And they're looking down at you This is the society that we live in, man Alright So that's why, hey man Stay away from these people, man Be amongst the godly Alright Um, probably go back to that, uh That Sirach, yeah, that one Yeah, this is Sirach 33, verse, um 26 a yoke and a collar do bow the neck so are tortures and torments for an evil servant exactly see if you're not doing what's commanded of you you're going to be beaten with many stripes as the scriptures say man yeah. okay you're going to be beaten with many stripes see the lord's not playing man that wicked steward hey man the lord's going to come back and get that that evil steward man mm -hmm. you know that you were you were settled on your leaves and you stopped doing the work you took your talent and you hid it. Yep. 
And hey, man, the Lord, he'll, he'll systematically destroy you, man. First, he'll take the spirit from you, destroy your mind. He might make you gain some things of this world to strip it all away from you. Take your, you know, your children, take your, your, your woman, take your parents, take your house. He'll take it all, man. A little here, a little there. It just, you know, it just pin you to the ground, so to speak, man. You can't do a goddamn thing. It'll eventually destroy you by thermonuclear destruction, man. Keep going, Ak. Verse 27, it says, Send him to labor, that he be not idle. For idleness teaches much evil. Ooh, so we're supposed to be out there laboring. That's why the, uh, uh, the Lord, through the Spirit, has us constantly, you know, in some type of work. All right, whether you be reading... Learning Hebrew, you know, uh, watching videos, because out here in Chicago, through the Spirit, we we have uh, um, we have uh, order videos to watch, where it's a commandment to to watch, you know, particular videos. Okay, and some weeks it's you know mild, and in some weeks what you know how it is, you know, you know how it is, Ark. You we get bombarded. Mm -hmm. and some of these videos are long, man. They're forty five minutes, an hour long, you know. Some of them are just 10 minutes, some of them are 20, but once you start adding all that up, all of a sudden you got four hours worth of footage to watch. Five hours. Okay? The Lord wants us to, you know what, make, uh, through the Spirit, make videos, go to camp, teach the people. Because, hey, look, if we don't do these things, if we're not laboring, if we're not working, what's going to come? Idleness, and as we ju as it just uh, stated there, idleness teaches much wickedness. Not just a little bit, much wickedness. Now all of a sudden, your flesh starts, you know, starts warring with your it starts warring with your spirit. It starts telling you to do X Y Z things. You know what I mean? Now you're you know you're in a battle, fighting temptation. <laughs> you know it's bad, man, being idle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there any more today? Yeah, it says, set him to work as is fit for him. If he be not obedient, put on more heavy feathers. Exactly. So if you have a servant that doesn't want to get in line, he's got to have more feathers put on him, more chains, man. Basically, uh, more hardships. He's got to get basically under fucking control, man. You know? Mm -hmm. And the Lord's going to do that. To, like, look, man, if you're, let's say it like this. You're a servant of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. You are a part of the elect, right? Let's say you start slipping. You start, you know, falling, you know, in a, in a sense, right? The Lord is going to make sure he puts more on you, more hell on you. And it could be done through, you know, multiple things, man. He's going to make sure that you, you know, get in order and you get in line. But it ain't going to feel good, I'll say that. It's not going to feel good. But it's going to be for your betterment, though. At the end of the uh, of the day, it's gonna uh, uh, make you a better individual. All right. I'll say this too, real quick. The scripture just came to my in my mind. Hate not laborious works, man. Yep. Don't hate these works. This is it. this is you know for for you. These things are to help you out at the end of the day, so you don't get caught up in this world. Cause this world, man, it teaches you nothing but wickedness, and it's gonna lead to what death. Is there any more or no? Uh, this is Lamentations chapter... Th nah, this is too much. Come on, come on. This is Lamentations chapter 3, verse 25. The Lord, your how is good unto them that wait for him. Mm. To the souls that seek is him. So you got to be... You have to be doing some type of work like the brother says. How do we seek him? We, hey, you, you seek him in the book. You go read. Then you go seek out uh, uh, in the streets individuals that are like him by the preaching and, and see who, who the word and the message may reach, man. That's us... Uh, Seeking for the Lord, how about you, Yahweh Shai, man? You know, trying to get better understanding of, of this thing of ours and how to present it to the people uh, in a more perfect way uh, that the Lord would, would, would require. It said, this is, It is good, it's like, it is good that, that a man should hope and be and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord, Yahweh. Mm -hmm. So, when you're hoping, what are you doing? You're working, man. You know, that's a part of the hope that you understand that if. You do these things, the Lord is gonna have mercy. You know that the Lord is gonna is gonna requite your turn, man. It's, he's gonna lift you on high. All right. Since it is good for a man that he bears the yoke in his youth, 
because it's going to teach you that discipline that you need. It's going to teach you uh, how, how, how to think with a more serious, solitary, soldier-like mindset, man. You know? Even, hey, even with the fasting and the prayer, that helps, man. It keeps your, your mind sound and, 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 and on one focus, man. It says, he sits alone and keepeth silence because he hath borne it upon him. Uh, this is basically talking about the, the, the uh, lamentation and the grief that Jake went through um, from this fall. But us understanding that we're, we, we've fallen and we're in this place, man, what do we do? We seek the Lord ten times more. You know, that's the reason why the Lord is putting that, that knee on our neck so that we can go harder so that we can work. So you should you should be pissed off, man. You should be pissed off enough to the point that we got to do something. And this is the only thing we can do that's going to make a difference, man. Do you know where that scripture is at where it says, like, basically, whatever you find, give it your all, roughly yeah, paraphrasing yeah, yeah, yeah. it? Yeah. I, I forgot this how is, uh, it's. Ecclesiastes. I forgot where it's at. Yeah, the scriptures talk about that, man. Hey, whatever you find, man, give it your all. And then, then what, what do we find, man? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, about Shema Shai. This truth. So give it your all. You know? Of course, there's a balance to things. You don't want to be over-righteous, over-much. Okay? But the scriptures also say you don't want to be over-wicked. You know? I'll say this, man. The majority of your time spent should be in this truth, man. All right? Of course, yeah, you got to go to work. You know, handle your business. If you got a family, you know, you take care of them. Handle your business. All right, but yeah, you better be, you know, you know, making sure you, you know, you read, making sure you make your videos. Hey, man, I'll say this, man. If you're making videos, you, man, you better be out there preaching, man. All right, because hey, that, that's actually more important than making the, 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 these type of videos, to be honest. Yeah. Because the Lord wants us to be out there in the highways and byways, compel them to come in, man, into the marriage. All right. You know, and there, there's so much, so much you can do, man. All right, uh, did you find it or mm -hmm. no? Okay, come. On. This is uh, Ecclesiastes out of the Bible, chapter nine, verse ten. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. Mm. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whither thou goest. Exactly. You better give it your all right now, because let's say if you so-called die, right? You know. Hey, you, you know, you exit, the, you know, that current flesh you're in. Your spirit goes, you know, back to the Heavenly Father. You can't do any work, you know what I'm saying? There. You can't do any work there, you know what I mean? You got to do it now, man. You got to make a memorial. Yeah. Exactly, man. You got to fight until the end. It says, uh, in, 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 what was it, in Revelations, that uh, the prophet's works do follow them. Ooh. You know? Yep. So we got to, hey, we got to do works that even after we're gone that our name is commended in heaven man that it that lives on forever that, that we fought the good fight of faith until the end man you know not not that you gave up as soon as you was about to get your check man you you clocking out early then it, it, it says that it, all that man's righteous works is going to be forgotten yeah yep exactly you got anything else That's rock six. Um, how many verses? Cause I gotta get out of here. Um, I don't really have to get into this. Kind of, kind of. But yeah, you know, that's pretty much it, right? But yeah, you know, hopefully that was edifying. You know, straight to the point, man. You know, hey, get, get on top of your, sh you know, like I said, <laughs> sorry for the curse words we make. Hey, get on top of your shit, man. Simple as that. Get out there and put in some work, man. Quit being lazy. All right. If not, hey, man, the Lord's going to destroy you. Simple as that. With that, you know, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Also, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all your brothers out there. Shalom, woman, a Baba Ball.